เราไปหัดดันตามาบาลังกี้ a ุ้งหัดดันสมัครนักนาเอสแต่ไม่มาตุลยังพามามาฮากินลุมาอินสมัครมักสุดท้ายสมัครมาเลยบาลังกี้ที่มาตุ้งหัดดันสายสังเกตมาแม้ดิ่งมาอินบีเซ่ปริศดเตงุนิพัลโลงตัวที่เดินอัตวัตนาทายุตุนายุอัตมาลักินที่มาตุ้งหัดดังสายสังเกตกันดังนักอาบิชุมาอินจิกจัสติส Okay, come sir. Okay, come sir. Today we begin to perform a solemn task. We convene as a body of jurors, and ultimately to decide the fate of no less than the Chief Justice of the highest court of the land. Let me present to you some of the prized pieces of the Corona. Crown jewels. The issue is whether or not the alleged failure to disclose violates the principle of accountability. The pictures of the Bellagio and other properties and the bloated list of titles are therefore irrelevant. Whether or not they should be granted a subpoena. May I just summarize, Your Honor? I agree to the ruling as far as the Chief Justice, but I disagree as far as the wife, the children, the son-in-law. All those in favor of the ruling of the chair, raise your hands. With a copy of the impeachment complaint, there are eight grounds that are stated. We wanted to believe. That any and all grounds will be the subject of the, of the evidence of the prosecution in the manner they are stated or appearing in the articles of impeachment. Why the deviation? We are not ready, Your Honor. You But may I ready. just make a rejoin there, Your Honor? We are ready for Article 2. I am manifesting that we are willing to postpone the hearing for today. And, and. Yung pala ang gusto mo ipospondment. And these are probably uh, first day jitters, no? Uh, you know, uh, kaming mga congressmen, uh, you know, this is, we're not uh, exposed to this uh, like the trial lawyers, no? Now, the, the subpoenas sent to you, ma'am, includes the submission of the sal ends of Chief Justice Corona. Did you bring those sal ends with you? Your Honor, uh, in view of the resolution of the court and bank on May 2, 1989, I am uh, restricted. It means that it will only be filed with me, whether or not uh, it should be given will depend on the court, and it is not within my competence. You have brought this all in with you. Is that correct, Madam Witness? Yes, Your Honor. Order, please, order. Okay, nakikiusap sa inyo na kung pwede, ibigay niya na po sa aming clerk of court yan para maumpisa na po natin at para ma-determine natin kung talagang merong ill-gotten wealth o kung ano man. Require and order the witness to surrender to us the sal, the pertinence S-A-L-N that she brought to this court. So order. Just for the record, Your Honor, I would be making a brief description of the deed of absolute jail just handed to me by the witness. The deed of absolute, the deed of absolute jail pertains to the so-called Bellagio Goldview residences. Bilang hurado kasi nalilito ako sa Article 2, sa totoo lang. Ang nakalagay sa Article 2, the Chief Justice failed to disclose to the public his sal-in. Yun lang ang nakalagay sa Article 
Pero sa loob ng Article 2, sinulat ninyo na maliban sa hindi niya dineklara, nilagay din ron na hindi niya sinama lahat ng properties niya, and there is a third allegation that he amassed ill-gotten wealth. Pagdating ho kasi ng botohan, boboto kami, hindi sa hiwa-hiwalay na tanong na ito, kung hindi sa isang article lang, Article 2. TCT number 2093-P in the name of Charina Corona. Now, does the name Renato Corona appear in that deed of sale? No, Your Honor. Uh, as attorney, in fact, is there a Renato Corona? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the documents that were presented today show ownership of Chief Justice Renato Corona and his wife uh, over certain uh, condominiums in Taguig, in Quezon City, and lots in Marikina, Quezon City, and also Taguig in the name of their daughter, Charina. The, the prosecution said they're going to have as a major witness the Internal Revenue Commissioner. So I think the question now is, are the Coronas, at least the Chief Justice and Mrs. Corona, capable of buying these condominiums and lots? We made a computation initially that all these were acquired from 2003 to 2009, and they cost about 45 million pesos. 